What's up YouTube fam? It's Anam Khan. It's true. I sold all of my stocks. The only holdings I have now are Bitcoin and Ethereum. And in this video, I want to go over my trading journey in the last two to three years during the pandemic and how much money I've lost in Robinhood. Because I think when everyone's up, everyone likes to post their green days. But when times are tough, I don't see many people talking about it. So let's get started. And before we get started, if you like this video, press the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And let's get started. Okay. So my trading journey started in June 2019. There was a guy named Omar Ashraf that I used to follow and he was a big influence in me. And I started day trading in June 2019. At the time, my account in Robinhood only had like $3,000 and I just wanted to learn how things work. That's basically all it was. I wanted to, I knew nothing about stocks at the time. And I just wanted to get my feet wet and just learn. So from June 2019 all the way to March 2020, which I'm sure all of you guys know what happened in March 2020, all I was doing was just learning, 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 and losing money, losing money, losing money. So from $3,000, my account probably went to around $2,000. And then March 2020 was very significant because that's basically when the pandemic started to affect the stock market. All of you guys probably remember there were so many crashes, flash crashes that kept happening and the market just went on a spiral downward and it was down so much in just like a matter of two, three weeks. We lost a lot. We basically lost all of the gains from the prior five years that we had in the stock market. So during this time, because I was already in the stock market, I figured this is very different. This is not normal. I've been in the stock market for like the last eight months and what's happening right now is definitely not normal. I think it's a good time to put money in. That was my mindset. So around March, 2020, I put in $25,000 and I figured this would be a good way to catch a recession. So I put in $25,000 and I invested in stocks, still tried day trading. The reason I put $25,000 in is because of the PDT rule. I wanted to be able to day trade as much as I wanted because if you don't have $25,000, then you can only trade I think three times a week. So anyways, I continued to day trade. I still kept losing money. Unfortunately, my account kept going down. I lost like 100 bucks there, 300 bucks there, 500 bucks there until May of 2020 when my account was under like $23,000. At this point, I was seriously contemplating whether or not I should continue trading stocks because I just kept losing money and I didn't want to lose $25,000. And you know, just keep on listening because this is a really interesting part about my journey and where it landed and how high my account got and where I ended up. All right. So from $23,000, I had to make a decision. And I'm like, you know what? I think maybe I should end it. But no, I kept doing it. I figured, I, noticed, I started noticing a pattern. And this is, I think, around the same time that the Fed started injecting stimulus into the stock market. And so I started noticing that all of the big name stocks, all of the big large cap stocks, I'm talking Facebook, Amazon, Tesla, all these companies, if you held on to them, it seemed like they kept going up. There would be a mini dip here and there, but long term, it kept. It seemed like it kept going up. So I started doing that. And May 2020 was where it all started. It started to go up. And from $23,000, I went all the way up to $40,000 in October of 2020. And this is also when I started my YouTube channel. No coincidence there. At the moment, I thought I knew what I was talking about. I thought I was a stock market genius. Stocks kept going up. I was almost up double in just a few months. So at this point, I just kept trying to learn more and I continued to do what I did, which was just holding on to large cap stocks. It was working for me. So, you know, if it ain't broke, why fix it? So I kept doing that. There's also something else. So SPACs started to become hot at that moment. I started noticing a trend where SPACs would be around 10, 15 bucks. And then as soon as a merger went through, they would double in price overnight. And so I remember I, I did, took a pretty big risk where I bought a SPAC and put $10,000 in there and I told myself the day it merged, I would cash out. And so lo and behold, I held, I cashed out when it doubled. So I made $10,000 in a day right after the merger. And I'm like, oh my God, this is just too easy. But obviously that did not last for long. And some of my other big winners were Tesla and Bitcoin. So much so that in February of 2021, my account hit a grand total of, wait for it, 
$102,000. That's right, I hit six figures. I literally hit six figures from an account with $25,000. Everything just seemed too easy. Obviously, that's not what happened moving forward. And I, I, eventually, push came to shove. Luckily for me, for whatever reason, I decided to cash out around $20,500 in March of 2021. So right after I hit the peak, I cashed out $20,000, $20,500, which in retrospect, I am so happy I did. Later on in the year, I cashed out about $6,000 in October of 2021. And then once again, in March of 2022, I cashed out about $17,000, $17,500. So altogether, I cashed out about $38,475 out of my at the highest $102,000. That left me with about $63,575. Now, this is the difficult part. Guess how much money I have in my account today? I gotta drink water for this one. At this moment, making this video, I have $10,630 in my account. And you know, there are some big losers I had. A lot of uh, cryptocurrency went down a ton. I had some oil stocks like CEI stock and Imperial Petroleum that were down 70 to 90%. All the other tech stocks pretty much crashed like at least 40 to 50%. So all in all, on paper, I lost $52,945. Whoo! And that ends up equaling 82%. My account today is down 82% from his highs. And I post this video just to be transparent because I know I'm not the only one that lost a ton of money. And I don't think there's anything bad about pointing this out. We've all gone through it. And I think it's unfair that people just, or misleading at least, where people just point out all of their green days but never post out their bad days. So here it is guys, I'm being as transparent as possible. This is my loss. My account today is 82% down from the high. And now let's just see where we go from here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.